guy that's clenching in the emotional store, okay, he's like this. Okay. It's called stretch and spray. Okay, stretch and spray. So remember you heard keep what's your name? Scott. Scott. Keep your eyes closed, okay? And then I'm gonna cover your ear. I want you to open your mouth as wide as you can. I'm gonna spray from mid neck across the temp master temporal about three passes. Ready? Open wide and spray from here one. Two, about half inch apart, three, up the masseter, and she fights the tip row. That's it. Now if you close it up really tight, at the first pass, it'll go two seconds. And you've popped over to 45. The pain is completely gone. Okay? It's called reflex inhibition. I think it's in your notes. Okay, I always do both sides, so I'm going to spray this side for you. I start the mid neck because I want to get the posterior digastric also at the same time. And relax. Open and close it now. Feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now, now that you do this, the pain book can shut the pain off immediately. Now, if it's the joint and if the joint that's bothering him, he's also going to have a restricted opening too. So you want to make sure uh, at, at the start, you know, do you have joint problems? Can you eat or chew? They can eat and chew. It's not a joint problem. Okay, not much you can probably get, uh, you probably understand very quickly. If it's a female, you go like this and make sure you go like this and massage the area too. Actually, this is really not doing much. But uh, for women who have makeup, wear lots of makeup, you do this, you kind of blend in the street. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you blend in the street. So, okay, now listen to this part. So if a guy comes in, patient comes in and you spray him down and all, all of a sudden you go, wow, that's fantastic. Okay. At this point then you give him, ask him, what do you take for your, your muscle headaches or muscle pain? He says, I used to take Tylenol for extra strength, so I take Advil. So we'll just go get a couple of Advil, give him two Advil. Because right away you know he need, if he needed this, he's going to need some help after, after the appointment, he's going to be sore. So what we're going to do is spray him down and then give him some medication so that when the anesthetic wears off and he's whole, then the analgesic has kicked in. Because we know this for a fact that once the pain starts, you need twice the amount of analgesic to stop the pain than had you given him the analgesic before the pain started. Okay? If, you have to, if you have to use this, you've got to use this. Okay? Now, what we're going to find is, let's say the pain's coming is, is right here. So we've done the the regular part. Let's say, uh, let me get, give this a quick example. Any of you do implant surgery? Or anything like this at all? Okay, what happens is this. You see a patient come in, he's missing 14, 15, and you want to put an implant back there, and so you look in the mouth, and open please, and the guy opens like this. And you think, well, that's going to be plural, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> but what are your choices? You got to put it in at an angle, use an angled abutment, or what you can do is spray him down with the same thing just like I showed you. Protect the eyes, close your eyes, spray them from here, all the way up like this. One, two, three. First pass, bang, he's going to go from 24 millimeters to 45 immediately. And, and here's, just one second, here's the reason why it works. It's called reflex inhibition. Okay. If the pain is from the joint, okay, the, the, uh, the rule kind of is like, it goes like this, that the same nerve that innervates the joint also supplies all the muscles that move the joint. Okay? So what that means is you spray the muscles to, to uh, help the joint, everything will just bother you, it'll open like that. But reflex inhibition, you spray these areas down. The apparent message is to go from here to the thalamus to the brainstem to the cortex, for example. The same message is to go from the, this area here to the brainstem, the thalamus, and the cortex. You're interrupting that pattern, pathway. So all of a sudden, you spray them down. Now the message starts to go back, but it's cut off. It's cut off. It stops. Reflex inhibition. So this is good for trolley horses, stuff like this. Or you get a cramp in your toe. Ever get a sit there and get a cramp in your toe? I, I use this every now and then. Okay, so here's what you do now. You turn, I want you to stand, your name again was? Scott. Stand up just a moment, Scott. Okay, I'm gonna move over just a little bit. I'm gonna go like this. Closer. Go ahead, sit down that way now. Okay, now, 
I want you to take your shirt and move your shirt back. Okay, from the coding process, I want you to turn his head. No whistling, okay? Turn his head. For the moment, just take the dental towel, cover over like this. Just cover the whole area like this. So go like this. You see the muscles trap, pop out? See this? Okay? So you squeeze it together. Stay there, good. Go like this. The coding process, right up to create this ridge. Behind the ear, one, two, three, and maybe four. Okay? Now stretch, 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 stretch. Many times what you'll see is somebody say, okay, relax again. They you tell them move left and they go that far. They move this far and go ahead. So that's okay, you stretch as far as you can. You spray them after the second first pass, they go like this. Second pass, they go like this. Third pass, go all the way. By themselves. Just release the muscles. Okay. So if this is sort sending messages to the cortex, and now by chilling it, it it uh, the message can't get to the cortex. The spikes up in here, that's it's a froth. Don't worry about the hair will fall out and we're gonna kill it. Okay. So now Lean forward. Where did you say? Right about where? Under the scapula? Or above the scapula? Huh? Right about there. Above. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spray like this. Stretch down, then stretch down, stretch. The muscle has to be stretched. I used to come up under the scapula from the left side, come up with the thumb, up. This is called inverse banana. And come across the suprascapular like this. I do both sides, but I usually spray both sides. And they come across like this. this way. Oh, excuse me. Face that way. <coughs> the back, the subocipital region is really important. So you lean it down, stretch as far as you can. Take your thumb and finger like this, and your fin index finger going up to the base of the occiput, and you lean back a little bit, just relax. And you feel a little dip there. You grab thumbs on each side of the finger like this, and you massage this area. The base of the occiput. Occiput on the C2. This refers pain up to this part of the head. Okay. So just relax. Thank you, Scott. Okay, good.